Good morning, TK. I have some exciting news. We have a friend that's about to turn six. This friend is going to turn six on May 27th. So we are going to make him a special birthday card right now together. Okay, so this week's art, we will be making art with letters and numbers. Okay, and this week we're going to draw out Cody's name. All right, so here we go. Cody is spelled, I'm gonna put the words up here first. So Cody is C O D Y. And Cody's last name is Crocker. C R O C K E R. And Cody is turning, yes, the big six. Now he has to use both hands to show the number six because he can't just say five. Now he's going to be six. Okay, so very soon our friend is going to turn six. So we are going to start with the letter C. Okay, and would you like, you can decide actually. Miss Boo's going to show you two ways to turn a C into something fun. Okay, so. First, we can turn a C into a little hippopotamus. Yeah. Okay. So first, do you have a do you have a pen or a crayon and some paper? Okay. A C is a big curve like this, right? There you go. Okay. And then there's Cody's first letter. Now we're going to add some eyes. So I'm gonna add two curve kind of going diagonal up so it looks like the hippo is a little asleep okay and he's just content like like that all right now we're going to give him two little nose little dots for nose and we're going to give him two little ears so let's there's one ear and curve up. There's two ears, okay? Now we need to give him a body. So hippos kind of have big round body, okay? So it's like a, I'm gonna do a long line and then a curve and then take it all the way close to the end of that C. So here we go, like that. Okay, what else do hippos need? Mm-hmm. Let's add the little little tail. Ready? Right there's the little tail. And we need the legs. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna start with his front leg up here. You're just gonna take it down and a curve back. Just kind of like this. There, that's the front leg. How many front legs are there? Two. So let's make another one kind of close to that one. Kind of like that. But this one on this side, you can see it, right? So let's continue the leg up. There we go. And two legs in the back. So here we go. We're gonna go give them one leg. And the next one is close to that. And like that. And there you go. That's your C, okay? Or you think Cody might like a choo-choo train? So let's start again with the letter C. I'm gonna make a C. Okay, there we go, a C. This is going to be the front of the choo-choo train, all right? And a choo-choo train is normally the shape, if we look at it, we can say it's kind of a rectangle. So now I'm going to add a little rectangle. Here we go. There we go. All right. Okay, and let's add some frill here to the front. So I'm gonna make one. Look at that. 
Okay, so a diagonal line and a horizontal line. And then actually my horizontal line can be a little bit shorter. And then I'm gonna make a couple more lines in the middle like that. All right, now what do we need? Mm. We need, that's right. And what comes out of that pipe? Uh-huh, the steam comes out of there. What else do we need? Oh yeah, let's make the wheels. There we go. So circles, two circles. Okay, my rectangle is a little long. I'm running out of room. So this boot's going to make mine a little shorter because I need some room. But if you have room on your space, your piece of paper, you don't have to delete. You don't have to um, erase it, okay? All right, um, then we have to connect it with the next box car. And over here, okay, how about this? We can add a window in there. So let's put a, a square right there, okay? And maybe let's draw a person in there. There's the person that he's, is that Cody? Is that Cody, Cody sitting there? There we go. Lots of hair. Okay, that's not Cody's hair. That's somebody else. All right. Okay, we'll need more circles for this one. And how about that? There we go. And a choo-choo train runs on choo-choo tracks, rain tracks. Train, train tracks, not rain tracks, Miss Boo. So let's make some train tracks. There you go. Okay. Oh, how come I have three train tracks there? Just two. All right. So for Cody, you can pick the hippo or the choo-choo train. Okay. Now let's move on to the next letter in Cody's name. What is it? It's the O. So, all right, okay. So for the O, again, we have a couple of choices. We can make a gorilla or we can make a pig. Which one? Both? Okay, I'll show you both and then you can decide which one you want, okay? So let's start with the O. So make a nice big curve. There we go. And then we're going to add on top of that, we're gonna add the gorilla's head. Uh-oh, this boo needs a little bit more room. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move my O down just a little bit right here. And I'm going to give him a upside down curve, kind of like his head. This is going to be his um, snout. Okay, not really. I mean, his mouth. Gorillas don't have snout, Miss Boo. Yeah. Okay, kind of like that. And now I'm gonna make his nose another curve in on top of the O. Give him two nostrils. There we go. And here are his eyes. He's happy. All right. We're going to give him some ears on the side. Okay, like that. And maybe some hair sticking out. Okay. Give him a big mouth and a body, big body coming off like that. There you go. So you wanna turn your O into a gorilla? You can do it that way. Or you can turn your O into a pig. And with the pig, you're gonna use lots of O's. Okay, but let's start with a small O right over here. 
Okay, and then we're going to make a bigger O. We're going to make a bigger O around the small O. And then we're going to make one more O around it. So we start right here and another big O around it. Okay. Now we're going to give this two little dashes. What do you think that O is? Yep, that's the pig's snout. Okay. Then we're going to give him two eyes. So make little ovals right there. Mm -hmm. And what does he need? Two ears. So let's give him some piggy ears. Their piggy ears are more kind of like triangular like that, aren't they? Okay, and he needs a he needs a tail in the back. So let's give him a there you go, little piggy tail. And how about, we can only, we're seeing him front on, so we can only see his two front feet. So I'm gonna make a straight line down and then kind of like a W, see that? And then up, okay? That's one front foot and here's another one. There you go. So you can make a Gorilla O or a pig O for Cody. Okay, now what's next? D, huh? You can decide. Mm -hmm. Actually with D, we're only doing a lowercase D, so not an uppercase D. Oh, so we get to draw. Cody's grandpa. Yes. So to make a D first, D is a magic C. One of those magic C words that you can start with a magic C. So you can start with a, a C like that and then a straight line down to connect. Or if it's easier for you, make a nice long straight line down go towards the middle and then draw a C to connect. Okay, so either way, you've got a D, okay? This is going to be Grandpa's nose. So now, let's give Grandpa some hair. What color does he want? We're gonna give Grandpa some hair. Doo -doo -doo. There you go, Grandpa. And Grandpa needs some eyes. So let's give Grandpa some eyes right here. There we go. And he needs a mustache. Grandpa needs a mustache. So I'm gonna go below his nose and we're gonna go just zigzag up and down. Okay, and back up. And there we go. And we're going to, from, from his mustache, we're going to make a curve up to about right here, okay? To like right underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna curve right about there. And now Grandpa also needs an ear because we're looking at Grandpa sideways. There we go. So now we've got Cody's Grandpa coming to enjoy Cody's birthday. <laughs> C-O-D, what else do we need? A Y. Okay, so let's see what we have here for Y. So for Y, we have two choices. We can turn the Y into a bear or we can turn the Y into Cody's grandma. Which one do you want? I'll show you both and you get to decide, okay? All right, so. Start again with the Y. So to make a Y, kind of make a V and then that's the uppercase Y. Oh, wait a second. 
we can't make an uppercase Y because the Y is at the end of Cody's name. So we have to make a lowercase Y. To make a lowercase Y, first we make a short diagonal line. Then we go to about the same height as the top of this diagonal line and we're going to make a diagonal line going the opposite direction, but this one's going to be a long one. So there you go, okay? So now we're going to turn Cody's lowercase y into Cody's grandma, okay? You ready? All right, let's make a short straight line out right from that end of the y and then we're just going to curve it up a little and that's going to be grandma's nose <laughs> yeah okay now okay then we're going to give her a curve and that's going to be the top of her head so we're going to curve it all the way down to about right there okay actually miss is going to curve it up a little bit higher this way is easier to see. There we go. Okay, then we're going to give Grandma some eyes and she is smiling happy too. So big eyes and here, let's give her some lashes. Ooh, mm-hmm. Okay, and then over here, she's going to need an ear. We're just, we're going to give her a, a C like that for the ear. All right. And another little C. There you go. Maybe you can just add a little curve there, just like that. And Grandma has really big hoop earrings. So we're going to give her a big earring right there, okay? Let's give her some hair. So she's got her hair in a bun, kind of, going back like that. So let's make her bun back here. Skin a bun out like that. And there's grandma's hair. Okay. And how about let's make, let's give her a, a neck. So right where the bun meets the ear, we're going to make a diagonal line down. Okay. And right here where the end of our Y is, we're gonna make a little curve out and that's going to be her other shoulder. Let's connect this to this. There we go. And let's decorate her shirt. How about she's got hearts? Oh, pretty. Hearts and dots. There we go. And there's Cody's grandma next to Cody's grandpa. All right. So should we say happy birthday to Cody? Happy birthday, Cody. How old are you now? You are six. So let's turn the number six into something fun. What do you think we can turn it into? How about a dog? Cody, do you like dogs? You do? Okay, we will turn Cody's six into a dog. So we're gonna start with the six, but this time we're not going to completely touch the curve of the six to the outside of the six, okay? So normally when we write a six, we make a curve and we touch it all the way like this. Today, we're not going to touch it all the way, okay? So, so let's start with the number six, okay? We're not going to make it as curvy, so kind of right here, curve down and in. There we go. Now we're going to add his front leg. So we'll make a line short diagonal line touching right 
there and then we'll continue it down like that okay and then we'll make another one uh, right there and that's going to turn into his legs later okay now we're gonna move up here and we're going to make his head so let's give him some floppy ears kind of a curve like that there we go and then a short horizontal line at the top okay and then go down just a little bit now we're going to curve it out and that's going to be his nose sorry there we go okay so let's go ahead and come down here and finish this so we're gonna bring his legs out by making a little curve out like this and then give it one two curve there we go okay and now this is going to connect up so this is going to be his neck and the bottom of the dog's mouth okay so I think I'm gonna make it go up just a little bit longer okay and we're gonna make a diagonal line going up and then it's gonna be a horizontal line but just a lit with a little bit of a curve right there you see that so the end of the mouth and then curve out and go up to meet the top there we go now add a nose make an oval and give it and color it in give the doggy some eyes there we go and let's continue filling in his floppy nose uh, floppy ears like that okay what is he missing oh he's missing a tail so we're going to do a curve up and then like a c down to connect it and then connect it to the rest of the body there you go and we've got cody's dog so happy birthday cody we're so excited for you you are going to turn six and you're gonna have a great year okay bye